Ooh, looking a little hazy over the city this morning. Hazy start to the weekend with good things ahead. Mike will be along with more on that. It is also Lollapalooza weekend here in the city. And that, of course, is when thousands converge down in Grant Park for music, food, and fun. But with all of that fun come some risks, some health risks, everything from drugs, alcohol, even the heat. And so this morning we have Dr. Nina Alfieri from Lurie Children's Hospital joining us with some tips for everybody to keep everybody healthy. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me to talk about this important safety issue for kids. Yeah. Well, you know, we see each year a lot of kids end up going to the ER, a lot of teenagers. Uh, during Lala Week, and I hear 2015 was particularly bad. Why was that? So our research study looked at the numbers of alcohol-related ER and hospital visits for children 13 to 20 over a number of years during Lollapalooza weekend versus every other weekend for all hospitals in Chicago. And what we found was that during Lollapalooza weekend, there were much higher numbers of intoxicated teens going to hospitals than any other weekend of any year. The peak year was in 2014, and we have seen that the numbers have gone down since. We're not entirely sure what has led to the decrease, but we've noticed that Lollapalooza is supporting stricter policies around alcohol and substances. We've also shared these findings with news channels and advised families to talk with their children. Right. And uh, so tell me, what's a bigger concern here? It's, it would seem to me it'd be harder to get alcohol in there. They're pretty uh, restrictive. You know, I, I think some people could take drugs and then enter. Which do you see as the worst concern, bigger concern? So I think any type of substance use can be very dangerous for children. Um, I think it's important that kids know that any amount of alcohol ingestion is not only um, not recommended um, because it's not legal for that age, but it also can be very dangerous even in small amounts. Same thing with pills and other medications that might be offered at these events. Right. So and it's very important to educate children um, so they're aware that these are available at um, at large events such as Lollapalooza and also can be a great talking point for other experiences where these these substances might be available as well. Right. And also we've seen some 90 degree days and that's a concern in and of itself and it must be compounded with uh, drug or alcohol use I would think. Absolutely. Dehydration can worsen any type of ingestion and so it's critically important to hydrate at, at concerts and any sort of event where it's going to be very hot. I actually saw on the Lollapalooza website that they're allowing folks to bring in um, uh, water containers um, and fill there. So that's a really wonderful policy they're doing to encourage safety and hydration. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, one last note, I know that some people, maybe their kids not doing drugs or alcohol, but they should be concerned about who's taking them home. Absolutely. I think that is one of the most important tips parents can talk about with their teenagers. This weekend and every other weekend, never get in a car with someone who's intoxicated, have a backup plan for getting home, have open lines of communication with your parents, and watch out for your friends. Yeah, hey, it's, um, it's, want everyone to have fun and be safe. Dr. Alfieri, thank you so much. It's such a fun party. You don't want to spoil it with something like a drug or alcohol issue. So thank you so much for reminding us, and parents, be sure to talk to your kids about that.